What's up guys, Christian Skies here, and we are back with another video. So, uh, let me fix my mic actually, uh, so this is a little easier to do. So, in uh, this episode, uh, as you can see, we built a shuttle. It's not a exact replica, uh, I tried to get as close as I could, but uh, when I built a replica shuttle, it just would not fly. I struggled enough to fly this thing, and flying a accurate replica of the shuttle wasn't happening. Uh, flying a shuttle to begin with at all is hard, so I had to make some modifications and make it actually flyable. <clears throat> Uh, as you can see, the whole ship just rolling around in the background here. Uh, but this mission was a lot of fun. We're going up to rescue our Kerbals from uh, the low Kerbin orbit space station that we have. Uh, do some science, grab our Kerbals, bring them back uh, to prepare for our next big mission, which is to Laith. We're going to do a landing on Laith, uh, do all our science there, and start doing some missions further out in the solar system. So yeah, I wanted some new pilots and some new scientists and engineers uh, to be leveled up, so I sent them up to orbit uh, to work on the space station, and now we're going to retrieve them and their discoveries. And on top of that, we're adding a new module, so the space shuttle is bringing up a new uh, set of solar panels with an extra docking port to kind of expand the station out a little bit. So we got a lot of things going on in this mission. And as you can see, now I've gotten into orbit and I'm working on getting our encounter here. Uh, I'm not perfect at this yet. I still am learning a lot about this game. Every day that, I, that goes by, I learn something new. Uh, so getting encounters is something I've gotten better at, but something I still need to improve on, uh, especially when it's uh, ground to intercept instead of like a ground to orbit, then you tweak it and then all that. Uh, this was, I was trying to get an interception right off takeoff, which didn't happen, but I got pretty close. And as you can see, we're coming up on the space station now, and I got a cough. <coughs> I'm still getting over being sick, but it's all good. So here we're just tweaking our, you know, position a little bit, trying to get the best interception that we can to dock to the space station. I got some pretty cool lights on it. I got a uh, red, green, and blue, uh, different lights, so it looks pretty cool. I, I really had some big plans for the space station. I might expand out some more and, and do some cool things with it to make it uh, pretty cool looking. Uh, I'll definitely use this station to level up new Kerbals. Instead of just sending them up and then bringing them back down, I'll just send them up to the space station and then retrieve them at a later date. I think that'll add some purpose to the space station. Uh, I also might do the same thing um, to level them up to, I think, level 3 by sending them to Duna. Uh, putting a, I have a station around Duna right now, so I might just go ahead and send some Kerbals there. <clears throat> but here we go. Uh, preparing to dock to the space station. I had to switch in between the two uh, to try and, and get them matched up because I didn't have a pilot that could lock to the maneuver. So uh, Jeb had to do all the work. And now we're docked to the space station. And I apologize if the commentary is a little uh, uh, rusty. I've taken, you know, I haven't done many voiceovers lately and I've been sick. So I keep using the sick as an excuse a lot, but it's been pretty rough. Okay, got to give me a break. Um, but yeah, I'm still working on getting the, that commentary back. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, now we're retracting the panel that I was using the power of the ship because I forgot to add a generation source for the ship uh, so I was just using the solar panels that we brought uh, and now we're undocking the module that we're adding I'm gonna reorient it here I'm still getting used to how to use RCS uh, I've got a few tricks down I know how to move forward and back but kind of sideways and, and moving in different ways uh, I still got to get used to but I'm getting better at RCS as you can see it's just uh, four solar panels on a um, a structural panel with some monopropellant and two docking ports so it's expandable this might be my whole solar panel network i want to add one to the other side and then we'll remove the solar panel network that's on there now and then we can expand out into a, a much much larger station which will be a, a cool project look at that look at the view of the the shuttle docked to the station i think that's a, a really cool visual 
definitely a fun mission. Uh, missions like this are a lot of fun. And if you can build something like this, I definitely recommend it. Uh, I'll go ahead and talk about the shuttle. I added four arrow spikes because uh, you have to turn off to be able to control it in space at all. If you want to do a mission like this, you cannot use the vectors because <coughs> uh, you have to angle them <coughs> on the pad. So I just added four arrow spikes and uh, use that to do all the uh, maneuvering in space and, and monopropellant. Oh, I apologize. My phone went off. So, yeah. That's that. Now we're uh, expanding out all of our, our stuff. Uh, opening up our... Uh, well, what do you call it? Our, uh, our dishes and our scanners and all of that. I've already leveled up the crew uh, using the... Um, the science, well, what's it called? Not the science junior, the, uh, the science thing. You know what I'm talking about. That thing right there. And now we're transferring the crew, um, into the shuttle, uh, to be prepared to come back to Kerbin after spending their time in orbit. And look at the shuttle, those lights. Oh, it looks so cool. Uh, there's definitely with, with all the new stuff they've added and all the, the features that they have, you can build some really, really cool stuff. And I really like messing with the lighting. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with just the lights and all kinds of stuff like that. So yeah, and here we're at some visuals of the of the station and the shuttle dock to it, getting a good view. And uh, here we go, undocking and preparing to re-enter at Kerbin. Now, I still have some work to do on re-entry. Uh, I've got some learning to do on that. Uh, I've gotten to where I can land, but, or not land, I've gotten to where I can get down safely, but landing without losing something is something I gotta work on. Um, luckily in this mission we didn't lose much, uh, just a wing. <laughs> but um, I'm able to re-enter the atmosphere, I've just gotta work on uh, my skills at re-entry. So here we go, uh, down in the atmosphere now, and just fast forwarding ahead till we get to a significant atmosphere, preparing for our landing. <clears throat> and I'm sorry if I'm coughing a lot. <clears throat> Being sick is not fun at all, and I would not recommend it if you can avoid it. <laughs> I kept undershooting the KSC here, so I had to ignite the engines over and over again to try and extend our... Um, extend our landing point, but I think this just contributed to having too much speed coming down, uh, which put too much aerodynamic stress on our wings, and as you see, we're, we're kind of flipped once. But, uh, me continuing to ignite the engines definitely sped us up a little too much, and uh, when we were ready to slow down, uh, there was just too much force on the wings to survive the, the re-entry. Uh, so as you can see in just a second, as soon as we pull up, the wings blast off. But not to, not to worry, I put a fail safe in there. We have RCS to stabilize, and I have parachutes. Uh, because, you know, having a backup or some sort of uh, fail safe just in case there's a failure is always great to have. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this mission. It was a lot of fun. Uh, now I'm going to start work on the craft that will get us to Lathe. I'll actually, you know, record the building process for there. Uh, but yeah, this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed building the shuttles and I'm loving working on planes. Uh, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. I will see y'all in the next episode.